Hello, hello everyone. Happy New Year to you. Uh, we're so grateful to be in a new year. 2020 was um, a long and um, serious year, but we are thankful to be in 2021. All right, so we're going to talk about, uh, continue our discussion with Matthew on the second part of how music affects our wellness journey and um, today we're going to be looking at um, the different keys and the genres of music and how they affect our wellness uh, so please sit back relax and have a good time um, if you miss the first part just go check the videos on my channel you would see them uh, you will see it there and I'm sure you would be able to uh, learn a thing or two in the first section um, okay so without wasting much time let's just go right into it let me quickly run through uh, music and music keys and the kind of emotion they generate from you yeah. is that okay <laughs> okay so musical keys have different um, characteristics you know and they 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 provoke different reactions mm -hmm and demand different expressions from you. Okay, so I'll quickly go through the different keys, the different musical keys now and tell you the likely exp expression you get when you listen to such music played on such keys and when you listen to such notes on such, uh, of such keys, you know. C major, for example, C major, one is seen as completely pure Simplicity, naivety is seen as the key of children. Mm -hmm. Kind of, it makes you free of boredom, full of imagination, powerful, resolve, earnestness, and you feel religious. <laughs> You feel religious yeah. when you listen to music played on C major. Mm. Okay, so when you go from C major to C minor, C minor kind of um, is also innocently sad, love sick, declarations of love, lamenting of loss of love, unhappy relationship, wow. languishing full of longing for something, you know, a soul in search of something, a soul in search of something. When we go to C sharp minor, it's um, despair, wailing, weeping, a compassionate expression of sorrow and deep grief. <laughs> <laughs> and deep grief. Wow self-punishment, and intimate conversation with God about recognition or, or, or of wrongdoing or atonement. Do you understand? You, yeah. listen to some, stop, you listen to some piece of music on certain keys and you just don't know what, have, what come over. You just be confessing your sins mm -hmm. without anybody telling you anything. <laughs> you know, so it it's goes a long way, you know, I'm saying all of those things because um, if, we, if you know, you're able to apply these things correctly and you're able to get the right results at different times, you know. But if you don't know, certain unwarranted reactions will be, will be demanded from you ignorantly and, and you will give in to them. Okay, so yeah, then we'll move, if we move from C sharp minor, if we go to D flat, it will, to D flat major. D flat could prone grief, depressiveness, you know, um, despair as well. Could it is capable of a laugh or a smile? That's D, D flat major. If you go to D major itself, D major speaks of triumphant, triumphancy, vic victories, war cry, 
war cry, a scream of hallelujah, rejoicing in conquering obstacles, war marches, holiday songs, invitation to join a winning team. <laughs> invitation to join a winning team. So when songs or music is done on this key, you see the kind of reaction that it is capable of genera generating. Victory, you know, victory, screaming, joy, happiness. You know, you just feel like a winner. You feel, you feel, you feel like a conqueror. You know, when you listen to songs or sounds on these keys. Then when you move to, when you move from there to D minor, D minor, it's, it's, um, it's melancholic. It's feminine. It's brooding. Contemplation of negativity. Wow. You know, when songs are done on, the, on D minor, then when you say D sharp, when we go from there to D sharp minor, D sharp minor speaks of deep distress, sure. dealing with anxiety, existential terror, just being afraid of no. what could be or what of, of the unknown, things like that. The dark of the night, fear, you know, fearful, being hesitant to do things. Goosebump. You know, they, they say it is the language of ghosts, things like that. So D minor prompts kind of some kind of reaction, some kind of fearfulness. You know, then when we move from there to E, E, e flat major, E flat major, you know, uh, it speaks of being cruel, hard, full of, yet full of devotion. It also speaks of love devotion, intimacy, openness, honest communion, conversation with God, you know, when things are done on, on, that, on, on that key. Then if you move from there to E major, E major speaks of um, quarrelsomeness, <laughs> incomplete pleasure. At the same time, shout of joy, complete delight, bickering, short fuse, ready to fight, you know, things like that, you know, so these things brings on different, different, different emotion. I can go on and on to give you all the keys of the key, all the, all the keys of the keyboard, if, if you want. I've got everything listed here, and I'm also wow, looking at, wow, looking at. <laughs> I, I would like to ask, is, is there a relationship between mm the song you are singing and the key, as in the song meaning the content of what you are singing. For example, mm. let's say we are taking D minor, um, mm. D minor that is melancholy. Huh? You mentioned yeah. melancholy. Yeah. And we are doing a chant, a victory chant song on that key. Does it have any impact on the key itself, since the content of the song is, mm. is, is the opposite, is something that is supposed mm. to be optimistic. Um, yeah. Does that have any, any part to play in picking up keys? Because it's <laughs> not, not, not at all. You know, um, this, like music, is, is not just one thing. Music is a fusion of different components. Yeah. Do you understand? So, this one is just letting you know that this is what is this is this this is this, are, this is what is possible. Loud. What is cap? What what with the song with doing song on on this ski? These are the um, possibilities. Do you understand? Yeah. And uh, remember, we, I mentioned the the aspect of tempo in the song, and what tempo also can also generate. You know, when we say tempo, we are talking about the beat. Mm -hmm. You know how fast and how slow. Okay, so if I'm doing this song on D minor, for example, and I'm doing it at a fast pace, you know, fast pace, it's um, it speaks of energy, exudes energy. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Then now, the, it, it, then apart from that, also, what what am I saying in the song? What is 
what's what is resounding in people's ears and mind in my and mind. Mm. You know, so if I put all of those things together, I'm looking at what key I want to do this song on. Apart from okay, this is my own comfortable key. Uh, you know, then I now look at okay, on this my comfort comfortable key, what are the possible reaction I could get from people. So I look at that. Okay, then I look at the tempo. What tempo am I bringing to this song? What because for to do any song to put any song together, you must think of what you want to, what reaction you want to get. Sure. You know. So if I'm just like I can't just put any song out. I'm looking at what reaction you need to get from this song. You know. Then it's 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 it now inform what I do in the song. How fast do I want it? How slow do I want it? Do I want it slow? Do I want it mid tempo? Do I want it high high? You know. Then uh, what lyrics am I, what lyrics is the song projecting? What message is the song projecting? Because all of this thing combined together to see, to, to, to get it, to place a demand on, on people's emotion. Mm -hmm. For example, also, there are certain people, you find people that say, okay, I just love slow songs. I just love slow songs. Um, mm. Is there any impact of that on their own wellness? Because personally, I prefer the slow, slow tempo songs to fast tempo songs. But the, the truth is, it, it doesn't mean I don't enjoy fast paced songs. I do. I yeah. enjoy some high tempo songs. But naturally, I just feel more drawn towards songs that are slow tempo. Does that have any impact on my wellness? I mean, does it make me melancholy? <laughs> or does it? Does it bring mm -hmm. out some emotions that I mm -hmm. might be needing to suppress in me? Okay, so naturally, um, everybody has got different um, personality traits. So um, usually, for for if you want to go in the direction of personalities, we have um, we have sanguines, we have cholerics, we have phlegmatics. We have melancholy. Um, which other one do we have? I think these are the four major ones. Major you know, uh -huh. then we have. Um, then you have say a, that again. Then you could have a blend of either of those. A blend. Things. Yeah, then you could have a blend of all of those things. You know, so if you look, if you if we study um, this personality traits or features, it also determines what people go for in terms of choice of songs, you know. So for someone that is a sanguine, for example, they're usually an out and out going, you know, people. Yes. You, you will never see them going for a slow paced song mm -hmm. because that is naturally, that is what, that is what attracts them. You know, they, they, they jump and jump and jump and dance and dance and dance. So if you give them, if you come to them with slow, song or slow songs you know you, you don't you don't catch them <laughs> do you understand so or, so naturally if this is the kind of song i tend towards it's also in a way speaks of my of my personality of my personality but then um it doesn't mean your personality also is just single you know you may also have a blend of sure. of uh, of um, these traits so which means um, even if the slow songs seem to be the most dominant side of you, once in a while you are still able to get along with the fast-paced songs. Okay. okay. Then also, when it comes to wellness, when it comes to wellness, depending on what you know, usually the um, um, the, usually the the slow-paced songs, the slow songs. You know, does a lot of uh, a lot of work, a lot of wonders. Usually, when it comes to the aspect of healing, when it comes to the aspect of um, um, rel relieving of stress, you know, the slow paced songs um, does a lot of wonder. Then also, when it comes to the um, aspect of sleeplessness as well, the slow paced songs, slow slow songs, slow kind of music also have um, does a lot of wonder. You know, so um, if it's possible, um, let me look 
quickly into uh, music genres and also the kind of reaction they can generate from you. Okay, so let me start with, um, let me start with jazz, for example. Mm -hmm. Jazz, you know, and jazz comes in different variations as well, you know. Mm -hmm. And if we look at jazz itself and how jazz um, came about, it has to do with improvis improvisation, you know. Jazz picks a piece of music, may not change from that music, but we do a lot of things around that music. So usually it's unpredictable. It's unpredictable. They walk around it, walk around it, and most, usually most jazz players play according to how they are feeling at that particular time. If you give them this is a key you're playing on, they will not deviate from that key, but they will play all around that key. Do a lot of improvisation around that key. And also that's also, because the music is such, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's like that. It also creates a kind of emotional reaction from, from people listening to it at the same time. Okay, so it can play, um, people listening to jazz also can feel different emotions. They feel different emotion. Um, it can elicit a feeling of chaos mm. and confusion. Yeah. Okay. A feeling of chaos and confusion. Because one coming from, it is not like when you listen to other um, kind of music, they are kind of pattern, they are program. You go from this one, this is the next thing you are going to. This is the next thing you're going to. For jazz music, you can't predict where the person playing is going to. Do you understand? So the person listening to it is kind of, hmm, I, I don't know what, what is coming next. You know, you get kind of like, I don't know what is coming. You, you, that's a, that's, a, that's a, a, a kind of atmosphere or aura of, of um, unpredictability. Uncertainty, yeah. Do you understand? So for, yeah, uncertainty, you know, that, that's the right word. So for the person listening to jazz music, there's a kind of feeling of chaos and confusion, you know, that's, except for, but for those who are used to jazz music, mm. it's a different reaction, wow. you know. Really? For those who are used to jazz music, yeah, for those who are used to jazz music, um, it's, it brings motivation. It brings motivation because it, it's like it's like thinking outside the box. Mm. Do you understand? It's like that thing that that gives you a quantum leap. You you get out of the ordinary and start thinking of the unusual. Start thinking. Start thinking outside the box. Mm -hmm. You know. So for people that are used to it, it, it brings motivation. It's 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 joy. It brings it permits joy, joyfulness. It's uplifting. Mm. You know, it's energizing. You know, so it's you you can't predict what you get from it, depending on who is listening to the jazz music. You can listen to jazz music and it leaves you more confused. You leave the place, you leave the concert confused. You know, you can. <laughs> You can leave the concert motivated also and improved. <laughs> you know, so that's very key. So for yeah, for for classical music, for classical music, yeah. um, classical music is is um can be found in rehabilit rehabilitating facilities. Okay. Yeah, for rehabilitating facilities, which means it helps healing, you know. It's also you can it can be found also in, in learning environments. Classical music in learning environments is very good in learning environment in rehabilitating rehabilitating facility is very, very very good. It's um it's also help one it helps you to relax. 
if you want to relax, if you're looking for something to help you relax, classical music can be a very good choice of music to go for. You know, so that's, that's cool, good. Then it's, it's also help, helps healing. It helps healing. Um, classical music focus squarely on emotions that has to do with relieving stress. Yeah. Stress relief, you know, classical music does wonder in, in all of those aspects. Then also, I mentioned the Mozart effect the other time. So classical music also does wonder on that aspect. It stimulates the brain. It stimulates the brain. If it helps you study, it helps you retain whatever you've studied well. You know, so it's, it's, um, it's very good. It's very good. Okay. Um, rock and roll for songs such as, oh, no, let's say rock, for example. Rock, um, rock um, speaks of play, playfulness, happiness. So people that listen to rock, you know, they're always alive. You know, they are always out there. They are always rocking. <laughs> and for rock and roll, rock and roll, people who listen to um, rock and roll, rock and roll music also evoke pleasurable and uh, positive emotions. Pleasurable and positive emotions. If we go into rap music, rap music, um, can can provoke violence. Mm, true. Yeah, and, yeah. It can provoke violence, sexuality, mm. drug use, drug use. Uh -huh. You know. Uh -huh. So it, it, you know, it's it, rap. Rap music is more attached to negativity than other things. You know, people that are prone to violence. Yeah. When they when they listen to rap music, it's just for that aggravate that violent emotion. But can, can rock be used, rock music, can it be used positively? Yeah, you know, all of those things can be used positively, you know, because if you, if you uh, remember the reason why we're talking about this is so that you, you understand the dynamics and dimensions behind them. Mm -hmm. So that because if I understand what rap music is capable of doing, of capable of what emotion rap music rap music music is capable of evoking or provoking yeah then i'm able to use that now me knowing what this is capable of mm -hmm. i'm not able to say okay um who are the people that this kind of music appeal to can we now use the same music as an instrument of change mm -hmm. sure. do you understand you know so that's we can only think in that direction when we understand this dimension of, yeah. of the dimension that this music is capable of evoking. Can I say, okay, you know what? Now I want to use rap music as a tool to reaching drug addicts because naturally they are attracted to such music. Mm -hmm. But when they come across such music and they meet a positive vibe, Okay. You know, that is where the change comes, you know, but you can't evoke change if, 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 you, don't re if, if you don't realize the need for change. Yeah, yeah. so that's, that's where this, this comes to bear. Mm. Okay, then there's also another genre of music called techno. Techno has that, techno. Techno, techno has, yeah, techno has the ability to, to, to get us excited. Ability to get people up and dancing. Okay, so if people are depressed, if people are down, you know, you know what kind of music to introduce to them. Mm. Someone that is depressed already, you don't go, somebody, somebody that needs jeering up encouragement or, you know, or firing up, you don't go to such person with such, some kind of songs. <laughs> With techno, right? Yeah, you go to them with some kind of song that will change their mood or that will get them out of their depressed state or status. 
Do you understand? So if you listen to techno, mu techno music, you just want to tap. You just want to nod your head. You just want to shake. You want to move your body. You know, so that's cool. OK, if we move from there to, OK, let me just finish up on, 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 on techno. Techno, the environment that listen, that one listen to it does influence how it is enjoyed. Mm. But no matter the no matter the setting, techno is able to generate excitement from the listeners. Okay, so which is which makes it cool, cool, very cool for, for, for well-being and wellness. Okay, so if we move from there to country music, country music naturally is rooted in pain, sorrow, and um, touches touches the heart of the listeners, you know, you know, and um, it's also used for things. Um, for countries and nations wanting patriotism from their people, they usually go towards country music okay. because of what they want to get from them. Okay, um, country music allows people to vent and expre express emotions of sadness and reflection mm. through its lyrics, through its lyrics. This is why sometimes Emotions elicited can be ambiguous, you know, depending on what you want to get. Mm. Yeah, understand. So if you want to, um, let's say for songs like, um, you should know the song. This world is not my own. Da, 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 da. You know. Yeah. Da, 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 You know, when you listen to that song, where, where does it put you? <laughs> on the way to Do you understand? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so such songs like that, you know, and if you now move from there to, let's say, let's come to the popular genres in South Africa, the Kwaito, for example. Mm -hmm. Kwaito also is similar to is similar to rap. Mm -hmm. Sexuality, alcoholism, drugs as well, but at the same time, excitement, life, joy. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Those are the things that such songs, such genre evokes. Mm -hmm. You know, if you um, want to go into songs like Afrobeat, for example, Afrobeat um, has to do with bluntness, true talk, you know, no joking, you know, <laughs> you understand? If you need to, to, to you know, to confront, confrontation, you know, so those are those are the songs that those are those are the emotion emotions or um, reactions that uh, such songs permit. There you have it. Um, it has been it has really been an eye opening one indeed, because um, personally I have realized that there is more to music. What are you going to change about your music? What are you going to add? What are you going to take away? What are you going to increase in your music exposure and how you employ music as a whole? Um, as we have found out that it can definitely have great impact on how you feel, what you do, and what you do not do. So, Please let me know in the comment section. Um, I hope you have liked this video and um, share it to as many people as you believe will benefit from this. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that every time we put up a video, 
will be the first to be notified. All right, on this note, and we'll see you in the next video. Till then, be the very best of you that there is. Thank you. Bye-bye.